Hello, everybody. This is Daniel again over here in Northwest Fighting Arts. This is week five, lesson 10, the second lesson of week five. We're going to be going over, um, reviewing a little bit of the, the foot jab we worked on last uh, lesson, but also introducing a new thing um, with an older technique. The new thing I'll be talking about today is what we call our duck feet rhythm. So, duck feet, quote unquote, is what we use when we're in what we call plum or close range clinch in one time. And this is a great way to have a it's a loose space to where you can catch yourself off balance, but it's a great way to build rhythm and understand how to be sensitive to your opponent when you get them in this clinch and work on throws, work on knees, work on whatever, and really develop that, uh, that, uh, that sensitivity. So we're gonna be covering, covering this. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start, I'm gonna start the bell right now. Get going with some warm-ups, and we'll just bang it out, okay? So get ready. On me, find your stance. Hands up high, like we always do. Work your rhythm for me. Show respect. And circle. Arms in. Reviewing all of our basic warm ups. Circle back. Five, ten seconds each. Breathe. Get the body loose. Circle forward. Good. Circle back. Get the shoulders moving. You can also do it open out, straight arms like this, up to you. Nice and big, in, and back this time, turns, work the full rotation in your guard, feet square, and turn at the balls of the feet, heels out, and feel the core being engaged, that full rotation in the body, and get it going, all the way, and in, and out, corner punches, reach out, tap the wall next to you, Four corner, and rotate. Keep it going. Next one, circle the knees in. We're gonna add a new warm up today. We're well, not a new one, you guys have seen this before, but just to keep along the same lines we're gonna be focusing on today, it will help a lot in building rhythm. So, nice and easy, circle in, and then out now, the other direction. Step over the fence. It's like you're about to do a shield block. Really get those hips warmed up. Turn. All the way. Rotate. Now, next one, we're going to be covering the uh, shake. So, we're just going to work on a basic rhythm hop. I want everyone to shake off their arms in their rhythm hop. Whole body relaxed. Feel your feet loosely come in and out. It doesn't have to be a full forward and back if you step over a line. Just nice and relaxed. Shake. Balls of the feet. Loosen up the neck and shoulders. Nice and easy. Two seconds here. Duck feet rhythm. So, kind of a funny name, but that's what we nickname it. You're gonna go one, reach out. Two, we grab into palm over palm or gable grip. Traditionally, when we do this with a partner, when we grab the their neck, there's a bunch of different grips. So we usually go palm over palm. It's a little more comfortable when we're shadow boxing it like this to go here, a little more stability. So, one, two, palm over palm. Three, Feet square. Bell's gonna ring in a second. Heels up off the ground. Feet pointed out. And I want everybody for the last 30 seconds to hop side to side. Notice what I'm doing. So I'm kicking my feet out. I'm like a duck. So it's a duck walk, so I'm kind of kicking out like this. It's a loose space. I'm not tilting. My upper body stays strong. My center and my core is here. My feet just loosely bounce in this relaxed, fluid stance. So if someone wants to push me, I can keep myself in shape. Okay, keep this going even after this bell. Nice and loose. A few more seconds and relax. Now, following up with this, we're going to be working on what we call our hip hop hit in our skip knees. This is one variation. We start off in that one position, two position, follow me, three position, feet square, feet out. Now, we're going to bring up our knee like normal. One, point the toes. Step down with our feet together and step back with the other leg and knee with this one. Step, knee, step, step, knee, step, step, knee. With this first 30 seconds, we're gonna go very slow. Hang here. As always, when we knee, we say tang. Because remember in week two, we did the knee here, we did kind of throwing it in every once in a while. But this is where we work through it. 
Pain. Pain. Point the toes. Pain. Now we knee walk. Step down with the foot. Depending on how much space you have in the hole, you may only do two, three, four, five knees. But now I step forward with my knee and keep it fluid. I'm going to do it here for the sake of keeping in the camera. But you can really go like you're walking somewhere. Notice what I'm doing with my hands. I pull them down to my hips and come up off the balls of my feet. Or on the balls of my feet and rotate through. Next round, we go back to the so we start here. One. Knee, step, step. Knee, step, step. Knee. So as you go faster, you want to throw that foot back with the swing of your hips on this 30 seconds. Notice what my hips are doing. Tang, tang, tang. Four toes are pointed, and the hips swing in and out. All the way in and out, like this. Hop, tang, tang. 10, thrust forward. Knee walks again, knee forward. This is okay to step now, we're walking. I've done this at home, with walking to the kitchen, grabbing some water or whatever. Just make sure you don't need anything. This is a great way to just practice at home. We walk all the time, right? It's a great way just to kind of get the body moving and do something a little extra for practice if you're going somewhere at home. 10. We walk. Back to the hip hop hit. Hit. Step, step, hit. Hop here. Back to the foot. Hit, hop back. And hit again. Repeat that same thing. Look at my hands. They pull to whatever side I need. Tang. 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 Back with the head to help the hips coming forward. Tang. 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 We also say T as well sometimes in the knee. So follow me. Tang, knee walks, last 30. Tang, pick those hips up. Tang, tang, tang. Clinch those hands together. Tang, 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 tang. Hop, tang, 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 tang. Point those toes. Ten. Relax. Breathe. There should be one up plenty by now. So as we go through this, now I want you guys to pay attention to the combination we're doing today. We're actually going back to the week two combination with our elbow, elbow, and right knee. So this is when we first did the knee. We did an elbow, elbow, knee combo all together. So as the bell rings from here, we're going to go. So elbow, elbow, knee. We grab the neck. Six skip knees. Ten. Tang, 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 tang. Let go, back into your rhythm. Elbows, knees, grab the neck. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Back into your rhythm. Shh, so, so. Tang, grab. Now, this time, high knees, hands up, bring the knees up high, and tap your hands. You can also do it like we're sprinting like you've done in the past, but if you need a little bit of reference, bring the knees up like this. It's also okay. Sometimes it helps with making contact to make sure that you're knowing, you know, you're going up high enough. And all the way up. Breathe. Those hands up high. Good. Go up. Elbow. Knee. Tang. Grab into the clinch. Square up, one knee, six total. Tang, tang, tang. Right back into it. Sock, sock, tang. Grab in, tang, 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 tang. This time, 180 squats. We're gonna go around the side. Squat once, then squat again. One, two, one, two, full 180. Left, right, right, left, doesn't matter. Just make sure you just switch sides. Don't go the full 360. Get dizzy. Keep it going. Next round, we do the same exact idea with the combination. And we're going to follow up. Keep it going. Down, switch it up. Elbow, knee. 
Punch. Six knees. Tang. 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 And come right back. So, so, hop, tang. Grab the neck. Tang, 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 tang. Like that. So, so, tang. Grab the neck. This time, back to the high knees. We're going to be repeating this to really get that explosiveness. Bring those knees up high and tap all the way. This time, I'm going to call out squat. When you guys hear squat, squat, hop up. Back to high knees on this side. Squat, hop up, high knees on this side. Squat, hop up, high knees on this side. Squat, hop up, high knees on this side. Nine, three, good job. Following up now, we change the combination just slightly. Still the same idea, instead of elbows we threw in the beginning, we're gonna go one, two. Knee. Then six degrees. Ten. Ten. Same exact finish. Okay? So get ready on me. Breathe. Then my rhythm. Throw our position. One, two. Throw the knee. Grab the neck. Ten. 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 Then come back. And relax again. And repeat. Tang, grab, tang, 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 tang. Okay, come right back. Breathe. Tang, come right back. Now, push up position this time. We're gonna go. Holding it here, plank down, and I want you guys to hop the feet out and spread. Keep the same structure. Open out with the feet. We're really gonna work our core and stabilizing our upper body. Back flat. Don't spike up like this. Come in. Back up. Same combo. One, two. Knee. Tang. Grab the neck. Tang. 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 And right back into your rhythm. Tang, grab the neck. Tang, 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 tang. Right back. Tang. This time, push up position, mountain climbers. We're gonna go up. Bring the knee across the center line. And try to get up high, all the way. Stabilize. Keep it going. Don't stop. You guys got it. Don't hang your head. Keep it up. Breathe. Back up. Same idea. One, two. Knee. Tang. Grab. Tang. 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 Rhythm. Tang, grab the neck. Tang, 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 tang. Like that. Back down, push up position. Half burpees, all the way up and down. Hop with the feet. On every time, you can also, if you feel up to it, push up. Up, push up. It's up to you. Here, sit back a little bit. Back up. Back. Breathe. Following this, when we're working now, I want you guys at home to mix it up. One, two, then the combo, or elbow, elbow, then combo. You can also go one, two, elbow, elbow, knee. That is up to you. I want you guys to play around now. And this has kind of been the theme of the last couple lessons. So we start to randomize. So again, go one, two, knee, combo, or 
Elbow, elbow, knee, and then six kick knees combo. Two, tang, 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 tang. Or put it together. Soft, soft. Tang, grab, tang, 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 tang. And right back to the rhythm. Keep it going. Tang, grab, tang, tang. T blitz from our last lesson. T it, let's go. Hands up, and keep the feet up. We're gonna do a little bit differently today. We're gonna go right back to the combination after this. Teep, teep, hands up high. Teep, 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 teep. Keep it going. Teep, 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 teep. Back to the combo. So. Tang, grab, tang, 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 and back. So, notice what I'm doing. I'm playing around with the first four combinations, whatever order. You guys do it too. Remember your duck feet? Tang, tang, tang. Right back into your rhythm. Back down this side. Blitz, one, two. All the way out. Keep those hands up high. All the way out with the hands. And bring it out. Shoot it. Shoulders and hips turn. Don't stop. And keep it going. Right back. This time. Same combo. So, tang, I might do three of the main knees. Clench, tang, my work my duck feet for a couple, and throw two knees. Then do it again, and split it up. Good. So, tang, tang, tang. That's how I mess up, it's okay. I did not throw the knee, I just fix it the next time. Tang, reset, and do it all over again. Go right back. This time, skip knee blitz, hold, one place, one, two, back and forth, 30 seconds. Keep it going. Let's get those hips up, guys. Knees up. Tang, 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 tang. All the way up. Tang, 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 tang. Point the toes. And skip back. And work through it. Awesome. Awesome job. I'm gonna switch off the belt. Good job, everybody. So this is kind of the basic idea with our, our plum or clinch. Meaning that we're grabbing around the back of the neck or head, or we're grabbing another opponent, partner, and we're using that for leverage and control so we can throw around and work inside knees. In Muay Thai, the knee is the most dangerous weapon. So meaning it's one of the most effective techniques it's one of the most dangerous and most uh, feared, especially if you get a good knee, you pull someone into it, you hit their ribs, it can just be done just like that. So you want to be careful, of course, when training with your partners and making sure you don't actually hit them. But this clinch knee is a great way to develop good power when you're shadow boxing like this, balance, coordination, and just overall visualizing where you should hit. So as we're going into this, the plum or the clinch today, we've been doing a lot of the hit, hop, and hit off of the skip knees. So this is a skip knee where I step back after every knee so I can deliver more power by making sure I have enough room. And this also means that in Muay Thai, a lot of times, if you're in the clinch, you don't want to have your hips all the way out and there's maybe about this distance between your partner, maybe my partner, and myself. If I'm in knee range and I can meet my partner, doesn't matter if I'm holding onto the neck, they can also knee me. So I want to make sure my hips are in close, so there's no chance for them to ever even hit me. And I'm the one, if I'm on top here, for the most part, in control of when I spread that distance and then close the distance again. So when we're doing this live and really working through, really imagine in your mind that we're working on me, my hips are in, because I'm here in my duck rhythm at any time. I pop back like what we're doing right now. This creates space, and bang, throw the knee in 
the side. So this can be a hit to their ribs or stomach that we were talking about, solar plexus, coming straight up. This can also be a side or cup knee coming in, which we covered today, to the outside of the ribs, even the liver. It can be a knee, sometimes low to their own legs, or you can sometimes get a little fancier and you really control your partner's head, you knee them to their own head. So it's a very versatile technique, especially if you clench in Muay Thai, it's very feared and it's very dangerous, but it's also one of the most fun techniques and uh, flow you can learn. And it's also a great workout, especially when you're on the bag or with a partner, you can really bang out these knees. So, hope you guys enjoyed today. Got a good sweat going too. If you like the video, subscribe, like as well. We'll be pumping out new content. Look out for week six worth of lessons coming up soon. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.